I'm Jonathan. And I'm Sammy. And this is JBS Student, Student News. News. because it was almost a way of life. Brazil is the land of many popular dances that contain the elements of African, Portuguese, and European dance forms. Some of these dances include the Samba, Caribo, Capira, Furo, and the Lundo. Shout out. So now it's time for our shout out. All right. The question is, what country did the Samba originate? Was it A, Argentina, B, Brazil, or C, Colombia? Well, if you said C, you're wrong. Because the answer is B, Brazil. So now, why don't we go look at what our On The Scene reporter Benji has to say about the Samba's origin. Thanks guys, I'm here in Brazil with my good friend Samuel, and he's going to talk to us a little bit about Brazilian dancing. Well, the first thing that comes to mind is Samba. Samba was created right after the, as you say, slavery in Brazil, 1888 or so. The, it has become the most prominent dance in all of Brazil since then. Like, whenever I think of samba, I just, I just want to dance. So, Sammy, what's going on down in that South American town? Well, Jonathan, it's time to strap on the feathers and samba through the streets of Rio de Janeiro, because it's time for another legendary Brazilian carnival. It's incredible how these Brazilian carnivals originated in the 19th century with small street performances and now they've developed into a ginormous grand visual feast. The Rio Carnival is one of the most flamboyant celebrations in the world and is expected to lure in some one million tourists each year. Let's take a quick look at what goes on down there. And in addition to the samba in Brazil, there are also different dances in different areas of South America. The salsa is from Colombia and in Argentina they dance a tank. Oh, beautiful dance. Yes, those passionate expressions expressed in the tango have had people from all around the world hooked for over a century. Born on the outskirts of Buenos Aires, the tango broke the normalities and of forced conservative group dancing and created a space for men and women to truly express themselves, to flirt and be intimate. And because of the many male dancers who couldn't find partners, such as my friend Jonathan here, <laughs> Men created their own style where no women were necessary. That's truly fascinating. Ain't it? All this talk about dance is making me hungry. I love some salsa with these chips. Oh, let me have my No. Excuse me. <laughs> All these chips are making me think of salsa. Well, along with the tasty dip, it's also my favorite kind of dance. The movements and steps that make up the choreography of the salsa, which is an Italian ballroom dance, are made distinct by dancing in accordance with the progression of beats in the music. Weight changes are made throughout that define the dance, with three weight changes taking place in every four beats. Well, shall we? We shall. Oh.
Next up is Venezuela. J the Joropo is the national dance of this fine place. Ah, uh, yes, the Joropo. As the national dance of Venezuela, it is performed throughout the country, lightly and merrily. It is Spanish in origin and Venezuela in feeling. It is a dance for couples and it has as many as 36 variants of the basic steps. Also, Sammy, I don't know if you have heard of the Red Devils of Yer. Of course I have. The Red Dancing Devils of Yer began their traditional battle against the forces of righteousness on Corpus Christi Day. And it is one of the most unique and colorful ceremonies of the Christian world. Yes, but did you know the outcome of the battle is also traditional? Virtue will triumph, but not until after a full day of strenuous opposition on the part of... Saint, 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 Satan's henchmen? Yeah. On that note, it's time to sign off. But before we go, here's a nice clip of a baby doing the sauce. Still doing it. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is.